people you tell me that God cures cancer, God cures illnesses, that that people don't put enough faith in God. That's why they go to Walgreens and, and because they're not praying. And then when you look throughout history to see that he's always had his favorites, you know, Moses and his family, and, and the list goes on and on and on. So if 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 this really is happening, why isn't why are there still wars? Why are there still why is there still hunger? Why are there illnesses ravaging through continents like Africa? Why are people dying of cancer? I and and I know what your answer is going to be to me. Because we have free will and because Nobody really knows what God's thinking. Am I right? Well, well, I mean, there's situations out there where, I mean, you're asking God to just step in mm-hmm. and take control of that situation. Why not? He stepped in. He, he stepped in with. So, he stepped in at Sodom and Gomorrah, and, and bang, two cities gone. Boom. He stepped in during the time of Noah. Boom. Everything gone except Noah and two of each animal in an ark. So why not now? Why can't he step in and help people? Back with Noah, back with Noah, I mean, that was the price of sin, um, was death, that's that completion right there. With today, mm-hmm. after, um, with Jesus Christ, then we all have free will, but God cannot supersede your own free will. I mean, in situations like the wars and everything, mm-hmm. if two countries want to go to war, I mean, all of these free wills are at play, then you can't blame God for not stepping in and changing. But why not? Why not? He's our father. If I see my son is going to do something that's going to harm him, I'm going to step in. See, is your son at the age of accountability, though? Even if my son is at 42 years of age, I'd still step in. Wouldn't you? So if you told your son that he had free will to do whatever he wanted to do, but you didn't like what he was doing, and you stepped in and made the decision for him, I mean, that would make you a liar. And God isn't a man that he could lie. Why not? He's lied to us. He's lied to us through the ages. Thou shalt not kill. Look how many he's killed. If that's not a lie, I don't know what is. So you don't think their actions may have, um, they may have killed themselves with their actions? No. Like I said, when it comes to the time of Noah, the, f- the earth was flooded. Children. And the Bible says, suffer little children to come unto me, for thine is the kingdom of heaven. These kids didn't suffer, they drowned. To me, that's murder. Anyway, we've got to say so long for tonight. I want to thank you so much for joining us. It's been a rather interesting hour. All right, Exonation, on a scale of 1 to 10, I put that book at 1. And I'm being polite because I'm sure the publisher did a good job on it. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news as the Exxon continues from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Do you know how many times I hear this free will story? It's an excuse. I really believe it's a man-made excuse for things that they don't want to admit seem too far-fetched to be real. When you do the math on the Great Flood, it makes no sense at all. We know that for a fact. And yet, not unlike Columbus discovering America... Noah's flood really happened. I'll be back on the other side of this break. Don't go away. <laughs> 